So it's December and because of that we can now start reviewing Christmas beers. And this is one, Abbey de Rock, and I will talk about that in a minute. First of all, just to think about um, the channel, I know it's very obvious that it's always the same backdrop, always the same black t-shirt, always the same hat. So just to spruce up the background a bit, just to make it a little bit less boring, a little bit less dull, uh, we're going to have a different objet d'art up on the perfect draft there that I never seem to use. Um, and today it is a it is the Beatles Yellow Submarine album um, is our thing of the day that's going to go up there so every review is going to have a different one of those really random what it's going to be it could be anything really just something from my collection just to pop up there just to make the background a little less boring so there you go so just in case anybody's thinking wow what a boring backdrop <laughs> now of course no one's thinking that nobody watches these anyway so a bit of rock special noel this is the beer we're reviewing today um in honor of christmas being within this month and let's have a see it's a triple fermentation dreimal geigest gigist and it's um yeah brewed at abida rocks nine percent abv 330 ml bottle um i love the abida rocks brune one of the first uh, beers that i really kind of fell in love with when i first started get really getting into my beer um let's crack open the top while i continue to talk nonsense so yeah here we go so oh ah uh, yeah, okay, so we're not um, going to be waiting. Now I forgot that, yeah, the Abbey de Rocks, the Abbey de Rocks brewing is really, really lively. I forgot about that. And this is obviously no exception. It's also very lively. So let's um, let's pour it and then talk. So, yeah, so it's a Special Noel. There's a lot of froth going up there. I've forgotten how lively some of these Abbey de Rock beers are. So we're going to whack it in this glass and we're going to see what it's like. So we're getting a muddy pond water kind of colour there, which we do with these. A little bit lighter than the Brune, I would say. A little bit lighter than some of these Belgian ales are. Um, but I say this is a Christmas ale. <clears throat> I don't think it says much about um, the, the beer itself. But, uh, yeah, let's have a little nose and see what we're thinking. So, yes, it's got a bit of spiciness to it, which tend to get with the habit of rocks we're going to get we're getting some sort of Christmassy getting Christmassy spices there as well kind of like a mixed fruit kind of thing almost like a mince pie kind of smell to it there I say this is 9% so I'm expecting relatively heavy body but you never know it's slightly lighter in colour but yeah it smells nice we're getting cherries and berries and A little bit of kind of like, possibly a bit of ginger biscuit in there. Or maybe I'm just kidding myself. There is something else there as well, which I can't quite... Well, I guess a bit of digestive biscuit in there as well. I'm getting with this. It does smell nice. It smells, yeah, it smells kind of... Yeah, it is a bit gingery. A bit orangey, a bit orange peely. Yeah, I'm going to go in for the taste, really. Let's have a see what it tastes like. Cheers. Yeah, straight away, straight away it tastes like an Abbey de Rock. It's quite fruity. Um, it's quite fruity, it's quite smooth. It's not heavy. Um, and that's not a bad thing, you know. I mean, Abbey de Rock tends to be a little bit less heavy than things like Chimay and Rochefort and stuff like that. But it's still full of flavour. Just the flavours tend to be slightly lighter, mellower flavours. A little bit of bitterness there. Yeah, it is quite spicy. It's it's very very nice. So yeah, I mean, it's getting, yeah, we're getting kind of, a little bit of banana, 
You can tell that, that yeasty character is coming through there. It's a little bit creamy. Yeah, it's altogether quite pleasant, I must say. A little bit, a little bit of a sour edge to it. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Um, so let's give it a rating. So to be honest, it's it's nice. It's pretty standard. It's certainly warming me. Um, it's got a reasonably nice dust to taste. It's fairly kind of festive -y. Uh, with the taste really. I'm not getting bowled over by sort of Christmassy notes. You know, but it's um it's got that it's got that pleasant Abbe de Roxy taste which it's just kinda of like I don't know, hard to describe, but it's kinda of like a mellow, mellow fruitiness, mellow fruitiness. Um with a little bit of that spice like you get in a Rochefort and stuff like that. Um let's yeah, so um as for quality I'd say it's decent. It's you know, it's not knocking my socks off, but it's it's good. It's decent. Um, I will give this for quality. I'm going to give this one an A minus. So I'll give it an A minus for quality. It's uh, it's pretty decent. It was three fifty a bottle. This from um, a local bottle shop. So I'd say three fifty a bottle. I mean, come on, you're paying that for Saint Bernardus in Tesco, really. So I say for three fifty. I was surprised how cheap this was really, um, for what you're getting. So for three fifty, I'd say this is a. It's a bit of a bargain, really, I reckon. So I'm going to give this one an A for value. It is a, it's a bit of a bargain. It's nice. Um, I say 350 a bottle. You can't really complain. So there you go. Um, I'm going to finish it. Until next time, have a good one.